Hello everyone, welcome to Lab 8.3.5 from DivNet Associate course from Cisco. In this lab, you are going to learn more about Yang language. So Yang model actually uh, defines or Yang models define the data structure or the way of transforming information between the control device and the other device. And working with Yang is a bit overwhelming and it's a bit difficult. So we are going to learn in this lab or in this video how to extract information from a Yang file or a Yang data using Python. As you can see here, it's written in this here, Yang data model from files using the Yang language into a much easier to read format. Okay, so also we are going to identify what the key elements of IETF interfaces Yang model are. Okay, so what we are going uh, to, to learn or what are going to do, we are going to um, do three parts. The first one is just starting the virtual machine or virtual uh, machine or image in the background using virtual box. And the second one, we are going to explore Yang model on GitHub. And the third part, we are going to use Yang model through a Python tool called PYANG. Okay, so let's get started in part one. As I mentioned, this is only starting the, the virtual image, this one. The second part is about explore a young model on GitHub. So in this part, you will install P1, PANG model into your div, uh, AF, the div image. And PYANG simplifies working with young files. The model comes with a PANG command line executable that transforms Yang file into a more human readable format. One more time, what is Yang? Yang is a language that we can use to transfer data or structure or, or information between the devices. Okay, so let's see what are the requirements in step one. First, we are going to open um, the explorer and navigate to this web URL through GitHub. And then we are going to check the master and then we have to go there. And then we have to click on this file. And then we have to check the leaf enabled on around line 221. And let's check on the interfaces. Or IETF. Here we are. And as you know, this is like a description the boolean uh, type boolean default true and here we have a description so this is what we can see in the tutorial okay so what we are going to do in step two in step two we are going to uh, like copy from github to our um, virtual machine or okay so let's see what we have what we need to do we are going to go to this directory and then making a new directory with pyang and then we use wget and then we copy the url from github so let's do this Okay, after creating the directory, we need now to copy the URL from GitHub.
and we use wget command and then the URL. And as you can see, we have now the file here. We can use cat to check this file, or we can use also vim to check this file. Let's check it by ourselves. Okay, as you can see here, it's unreadable. We cannot extract information from it. So we are going to use Python to extract the information from this file. Okay, so in part three, we are going to install PYANG model and we are going also to see how can we use it. Uh, to remind you again, this module is used to transform the data or to transform the, or the information from a young for file into a more human readable format. Because as you saw, the data in this file was so um, like overwhelming, we couldn't extract information from it. And now we are going to use this model to extract the information. First, let's check if the um, model is installed. And we can install, we can check this by, as you already know, type the command and minus V for version. We are going to check the version. And if needed, there will, like if needed to update uh, the this model, you can, yes, you can use pp3 install PYANG and then upgrade and everything, you know, like any updates after this lab uh, written will be downloaded and installed. And we are going to use minus H for help and we are going to search for minus off option which displays the information in a tree format. And then we are going to use this command PYANG minus F with tree with the file name that we just copied from github we should see now the information in this form and it is like as you see now it's more human readable format okay so let's start do this step or this part let's search here for pyang minus v and you can see here we have it installed then let's return back to the pyang directory and let's check like pyang minus h for help and then we direct the output to a more command as you can see i cannot find minus f so i'm going to use the normal terminal and you can see here now it's much easier to find and here minus a format and here the tree option so now it's much easier to extract information. However, I'm just following the tutorial. So I use Visual Studio, however. And now I'm going to read this for this file, which is interface um, IETF interfaces.yang um, with, of course, the PYANG model using the minus F option with a tree. And as you can see here, we have an error. So I'm trying now to update the PYANG. And 
as you can see now the version is 2.5 And as you can see now we have the output the problem I just deleted the old file and I again downloaded the same file from the same URL I used this one file here because it was copied from the PDF so I just like made them in one line using this text file and here we have the output and as you can see here we have the boolean enabled so this is the output here similar to the output in the tutorial as you can see here to recap again what I did actually I upgraded the PYANG model and then it was a problem with the uh, file I copied from github so I then used deleted the file and I used this file this URL here and then I just used this command as you saw so that's uh, that's all for this lab thank you and see you in the next video